Hey guys, name's Fen. Take two. Sorry. No further comment. One funny thing that I found is... Oh yes, well there's a door here. It kind of leads you back outside. And you could possibly snatch your souvenir from a side where you can actually tell what it even is. One funny thing that I found is that there's Tim the Toolman Taylor living in this house. And he's got this big old blackboard full of smoky drills. And you can't really walk forward here. There's a big old invisible thing blocking your face. And this guy... Well, I don't know if he's uh, Taylor, but he's definitely a weird knight with a mask, and it, he's not like a ball, though, so if you're Kirby, you can't really fight him. It's all good. Uh, yes. This door, for some reason, despite leading outside, doesn't seem to work, and other than that, we're just sort of good to go with Hoppy in your gas tank. Makes a car go. Honestly, I'm like a little kid, just making up words and saying them like they're things. I don't know, man. That banner seemed to see says Ard Gallus, or maybe it's like a Dracula anagram, but no, it isn't. Throne room. Access granted only to Knights of the Order of the Dragon, the Count's quote-unquote family, or his personal staff. Well, I've got a personal staff for his face right here. How do you like that, bitches? Bet you don't. <laughs> get, get... I'm not gonna reference a meme, but no, that's kind of a stupid meme, and I'm not gonna reference it whatsoever. Apparently, this is the house of scary portraits, however, and if you look closely, even the girl has got weird chameleon eyes. So, uh, so yes, apparently, this ladder exists. I don't know, you can kind of look out at the skybox and think, boy, if only there was a landmass. Also, this might be the world's largest attic. It could really enter a competition for that. I swear it on my life. Swear is a weird word because it means two different things. That's sort of odd. Oh, hey, it's like a bat. It's like a dead bat or a Batman emblem. Or... That is not supposed to be valuable. And I should know because I'm the goddamn Batman. Anyhow, apparently I heard guards talking down there. I don't know, man. Yeah, so hopefully... Oh, well, hopefully I get to, like, a new area this time that I didn't get to in my sort of other thing. Oh, hey, yes. Statues here. And a window in the wall. Sort of saying and narrating what things are as if this was... Um, video by Miss Bunny Swan, but... <laughs> or whatever the hell. What? Oh, whoops. What am I doing? Why am I next to a guy? <laughs> Doesn't seem correct. Bedroom! Access and use permitted only to the master carpenter and his wife. <laughs> wow, a bedroom is like so roomish as to be labeled. Now hang on a second, there was a key that I forgot like once and again. Let's this. See what that was. Oh, better a false alarm than an emergency. That guy walks slow enough to look creepy. It's just all you gotta do is walk slow and you look undead. This is some good advice for the ladies. If you're looking to look undead because that is the latest style, then all you gotta do is walk slowly and, you know, you'll be a total, a total, total zombie magnet. Zombies will be all up on growling and grunting in an erotic fashion. It'll be absolutely fantabulous. Am I offending someone? Right. Key. Key exists here. Me caveman. Okay, let's, let's get that key. Didn't make that sound what normally makes, but that is, in fact, apparently... A bedroom key. And these guys are apparently kind of a thing. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe freaking not. However, ooh, where the hell am I even going? I think that before going into the bedroom, I would possibly like and wish uh, to go up these stairs here because I noticed I kind of forgot about these last time and, you know, they're just kind of inviting. And Oh, right. This... This room is a room what doesn't look like it has anything, but then it has this doorway, which somehow I didn't realize last time either. Oh, whoa. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> you know, it's funny because, like, you're supposed to kind of run and hide from them, but, like, it's so, it messes up possible conversations and events and everything sometimes in my head, maybe. Well, maybe not. Whatevs, man. Whatevs. With this cannon, I can blast open a door. Maybe I can walk on the... Hey, uh, oh, I can walk on the roof, but I can't get past, and it doesn't make a marble noise, though. Uh-oh. 
it just kind of guess it's nothing now. lets me walk without making a noise. That's rather kind of it, I got to say, and stuff. And I think somebody said that a theory on the difference between these hunter arrows and these broadhead arrows is that maybe one of them flies straight. Well, that's as good as any, I suppose. Perhaps I could test it. Well, hey there, guy. How you doing? Okay, let's let's test it. Okay, here's a broadhead, and we we know this is gonna curve, right? It's gonna arc. Okay, what about this? Aha! That was the case. Good. Very, 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 very good. Excellent. Dracula approves of this here product, or product, if you. Something quiet's by. Yes. How the hell he managed to notice that? given that I was perfectly dead silent. Thank you very much, Lady and Lord God. Lady and Lord God, there, there are two gods, and that's, of course, a ludicrous idea, but one is perfectly fine. Uh, let's not get into that sort of nonsense. Funny how swords are all ornamental and... ornamental? Ornamental and jewel-ed, and all sorts of uh, nonsense. However, I think I can get down here, maybe, if I'm careful and or if I'm not at all careful but rather lucky let's see here yes that's not a real door fine then oh there's that king story sounding horse whinny and still haven't gone into the bedroom for some reason well I got the bedroom key well I might, yeah I might as well go there because like that looks like a secrety thing that I got some kind of a hint on and I had uh, already sort of discovered it, though. <laughs> Take one, so that's that's cool. No spoilers here. It's actually quite clever. Right. Yes, indeed. So this is the bedroom, or as they say in Canadian, bedroom. What? Fen. Fen. Well, while I'm on my way. Oh. Did I open that gate already? How insane. I thought I didn't do that. I don't know why I would think such a thing, but I guess I did. Yeah. Well, then. The thing is, I don't think I can approach from behind that guy. I don't think there's sufficient darkness for that. So, uh, I don't know why I'm showing this again, but I guess I am. It's all good. Seems quiet enough. Funny now. how their, their armor oh, chainmail well. sort of clanks even more when they're walking on marble and stuff, and only slightly when they're walking on wood. I think that as a armchair physicist, by which I mean I sit in an armchair and stuff my face with Doritos while talking about the physics of them falling onto my shirt. Ugh, what? <laughs> I, 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 I forgot what I was saying. That's okay. Right. Perhaps I can... No. Oh, this is the bedroom where illicit things... Whoa. There's one scary portrait where illicit things happen. And by illicit, I mean wearing of glasses, but... Sometimes these things are loot. I say that every single time, and why can't I pick that up? That's what I want to friggin' know. It looks like loot. It smells like loot. It tastes like loot. I just don't know what to do. Except open a box. Open a box. Open a box. Hello, and welcome to Spot the Brain Cell. And today we have a woman who is 126 years old. And doesn't like certain things which are strange and offensive. But nobody likes strange and offensive things. Oh yes, and this door kind of just leads oops, leads right, up here. The racket? Where a guy thinks that opening a door constitutes a racket. Well, who am I to argue with him? Well, I don't know. I know I'm myself. And I know that mirror looks like it's smashed. Possibly because a vampire looked into it and gazed upon it, and the, music, the mirror was so confused that it wasn't able to display the image of said vampire that it shattered into a thousand pieces, but sort of stayed in its frame. I guess there's going to be some undead about. As I looked towards the window, I saw the first streaks of the coming dawn. There seemed to be a strange stillness grasping everything, but then... As I listened, I heard, as if from below in the valley, the howling of many wolves. The Count's eyes gleamed. Turning, he mused softly. Listen to them, the children of the night, 
what music they make. Seeing, I suppose, a strange expression on my face, he added, Ah, sir, city dwellers are unable to delve into the mindsets of hunters. He then rose, saying, But you must be tired. Your bedroom has been prepared, and tomorrow you may sleep as late as you wish. So sleep and dream well. With a courteous bow, he led the way from the chamber to the bedroom. He opened the door for me himself, and I entered. I am lost in a sea of confusion. I doubt, I fear, I think strange things which I do not dare confess, even to myself. God save me, if only for the ones I love. These guys just have no sense of humor. I'd say that's a rather wickedly sharp sense of humor. Oh, hey, nice here's me. Help! Help! The There's someone in here! Shut up! I wonder if the dead appreciated is what he said. Yes, well, it's the skybox gazing view, and uh, it'd actually be funny if I could get out onto that ledge, but apparently that's not in the cards, vibey. I think I've said that once already. I think my quota for saying that in one mission is probably all the way, all the way down to the other side of the meter. Okay, so now I've got the throne room key. How pretentious can you get having a key to a throne room? You want guard standing guard on an unlocked throne room is kind of what you want. That's what I think. And as you can see, the throne room has a gargoyle lording over the land, but he likes to sit up there to flaunt the fact that he has wings, you see. My ladies, I have to leave for Galatz immediately, for my ship will depart for London in a few days. I have never felt at home in this castle. It has never held anything but bad memories for me. Time, and now the Turks, have nearly destroyed it entirely, so I've had to hire some strange workers to repair and renovate it. <laughs> Please do not disturb them. I have not been able to locate Mina yet, but I know she cannot have gone far. Try to find her, for I have attempted to use every option at my disposal to reclaim her. I ask this of you urgently. The people on the frontier have heard about our battle with the Turks. Some have fled, while others have locked themselves in the fortress. I believe they may be holding Mina. We do not have any power over the fortress, but they are running short on food. My alchemist is working on potions that will make you immortal. Be patient, for time is on our side. Soon enough, the fortress will have to surrender. My caravan will be leaving at midnight. The gypsies are reliable, but I still do not want to be late. So I take my leave now. I hope to see you soon. Farewell and good luck, Dracula. Ah, ah, ah. Damn, it took too much time. Yes, indeed, Garrett. You are a slowpoke. Shame on you. New, kill all three vamp brides. <laughs> Instead of taking photos and putting them on the cover of some trashy glamour mag. Glamour's trashy, apparently. The Count's alchemist is a crucial element of the battle on the frontier. If you're able to take the alchemist, dead or alive, to the People's Fortress, <laughs> you will be rewarded. The People's Fortress? What is this, democracy in a castle? It's the People's Fortress. Only one person can really king over it, but it's still of the people. When you're finished, head to head towards Moldova to intercept the mystic caravan carrying Dracula. It's sort of mystic, you see. Why? There's nothing there, I guess. There was something important that Dracula took. Last time, I didn't note What's this there? key. Here. Guess all's quiet. Because it's a tower key, and it's just kind of a key for the same room that it's in. In, in. But... In my, in everybody's defense, it's sort of hard to see if you're paying attention to the book or something. My Count Joseph the Turk is dead. His body is in the jail. Oh, yes, right. The Women jail. There. It's time to give yourself up. <sighs> Same thing happened again. But it's freaking tap it on the floor. It just ain't worth it. And these guys, of course, 
when they f since they're stationary, when they finish looking, they don't go back to their stationary position. They just kind of, I guess this is Joseph there. Yeah, uh, yeah. They 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 just kind of stay stationary wherever they stopped looking, and so they become a bit of a nuisance. But never you mind that. I'll find ways to deal with that sort of nonsense. Oh yeah. This dude apparently likes putting stairs in his architectural buildings. I mean, who am I to argue, right? Stairs, they're practical things. You can sing about them. So if this is where the mages hide their dirty little secrets. If you're Led Zeppelin, and if you're a wannabe of Led Zeppelin. Uh, and Garrett keeps saying lines I don't remember. They must be unused. I guess that's probably the definition of things I don't remember, maybe. Well, not the definition, but some other word that's a word. I mean, geez. My beloved countesses, I have gone into the forest to find the needed ingredients for your potions. Be most cautious on the frontier. My contacts among the gypsies have told me about a local hermit who has found weapons that could destroy us. I strongly advise you find and kill this man and destroy his weapons as soon as possible. This is vitally important. The Alchemist. Guess things have changed a bit. Really? Uh, the alchemist said that a hermit was producing weapons for use by Dracula's dark army. Find the hermit's weapons, they could be very helpful against the brides. Weird, weird, weird. I don't see any brides around here. What's all this nonsense? Oh, it's a map. Right. This is the map that looks almost the same, but isn't. This is so weird, because is this mission huge enough that I actually get to go out of the castle all the way over here and all the way over there and all that stuff and end up there? Looks like it, but... Man. My hands cut off the heads and bring the law. My law. That weird looking guy. Because apparently that, I mean, uh, unfortunately that book does not in fact summon zombies all over the plates. I found that fairly disappointing. I don't know, you know, just, just sort of speak in my mind here. Because what else, where else could I speak my mind if not in an LP? And what else would I do in an LP than speak everything that's on my brain, including some things which... I watch, and I'm so irritated that I want to punch myself in the face, and then I have to do a take two. God. Is he... But now he's turned around. Now I have to quickly try to kill him. God Your damn it. I mean yeah, see, last time he was standing, like, right about there. And so this time sort of different. But nevertheless... I don't know about flash bombs. I've got invis potions and all sorts of stuff, but I don't think I have any flashes. Holy water. Yep, 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 yep. Well, so I'm just gonna have to kill and hope Sir, things that work you? out okay. Get those hands up! God. <laughs> also, last time I was able to come at him from behind, because he was facing that way, but Oh, this is not hmm. thought I saw something. Really? I already wasted one knife now, I just wasted... Oh well. They're meant for using. Items are meant for using. So, yes. Uh, they are. And now... Yeah, it's pretty dumb because it took me like forever to figure this out. At 12 the door will open and I was like, oh yeah. And, wait a minute now. Ah. <sighs> What did... Ooh, what? I, I missed... I missed something somewhere. Anyways, I guess I'll just show this off in the correct order now, yeah. Okay, so I tried, like, shooting in the middle of the target, right? Nothing happens. But it's, it's real simple. At 12, the door will open, so you shoot the top, you know, 12 o'clock. And then the arrow disappears. Now that's big. <laughs> it's yet another nonsensical line, now that's big. Can't read that plaque, because, you know, why not? And, uh... Yeah, seriously, I want to read funny phrases such as WW, no more will he trouble you, trouble you. That's that's pretty funny, right? Anyways, the the thing you have to do is to use that key, which I goddamn can't remember where it is. Ah, here it is. There we are. Key to the crypt. And now to the crypt. Yes. Vlad Tepes Dracul, year to year. Oh boy, how tragic. Yes, and then... 
this sort of thing. Oh! This thing moves, and then you hit this button, and then... There must be a way down there. And then that thing moves. Now, last time I stopped here, so this time I'm going to play on, I think... Yeah, I think one of those beefy episodes. Anyways, from here on, shit is 100% blind again, just to make it mm. up to you guys. Man, I never thought I'd say this, but Garrett's sayings become a bit grating when he says them with such frequency as in, as in here, you know? I'm just kind of saying. But I wonder if this crypt is going to leave. Like, who leaves a ring on a coffin? I mean, honestly... It looks like I can very easily hide in here, though, intended or not, and hide from from these scary haunts that you can't feasibly kill, because if you do, they not only make the standard alert noise, but then they also explode and try their absolute hardest to hurt you very badly. And, uh, yeah. It's all a big sort of a mess. Messy like that blood on that table. That, that, that. I do that damn thing, I do that there. Also, this door looks like it's unlocked with the handle in the unlocked position, but apparently it is actually locked. For some reason, I still have the bedroom key, because I guess there's two doors inwards, and that's why it can't drop itself. I wonder if you can have a key drop itself after, like, two uses or three or an arbitrary number. Man. It's like, what's the point in... Uh-oh. What's the point in, uh putting the key here when it's not that challenging to get and I forgot this guy comes back that way it's it's not so good some of these coffins are solid others really aren't oh man whoa ho oh, hey those guys have got like holes in their backs through which smoke is coming that's actually really creepy I never freaking noticed before so now I'm going into some kind of a chapel which I heard that which I'm presuming is still inside that. Yeah, and there's something to do with Jonathan What's-His-Face in the chapel. Oh, hey, it's a ghostly dude sitting. Ironically, he probably heard the small click of me unlocking the door rather than that big old squealing sound. Huh? Tears of time lost with the light. Tears of time found within. Disavow your fellow men. Deny all knowledge of lives past. Open gate of hell. Wipe away the demon in your dreams, like the dust in your hands. Tears of time lost with the light. Tears of time as false as your sight. Tears of time lost in the light. Tears of pain found in the self unnecessary period with a weird quotation mark. Deny your equals. Destroy the testimony of days past. The door of damnation open. Reason as goal. Destroy the beast in your thoughts. Like the dust in your hands. Tears of time lost in light. Tears of time. Just an illusion. I wonder what happened here. I don't know what that sort of strange song-like lyric thing is, but... Uh, oh well. It is mighty early in the morning. And... Thus... Somebody stabbed a cross. Get another crucifixion y sort of thing, except this time the cross itself is like getting dead. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm. This looks like the way out. Better not mess with us. Wow, I was expecting something evil to happen. Some dudes to spawn, perhaps, or, you know, like that looks dynamic but apparently doesn't count as dynamic. Uh, I don't know. It's pretty weird. Uh, I guess baked light is sort of like. Bake light or bakalite as it's more properly pronounced, but honestly, you've got a material called bakalite. It's gonna sound a bit like bake light, is all I'm saying, like a children's play doh or something where you bake it in the oven. Wow. Huh. So you do get to just climb right up the back of the fortress. Wow, this is another sort of rig. I guess the fortress. I guess the fortress itself isn't really that big, although it's sort of called a fortress, so you kind of think that it is that big, but it couldn't be that big or else this map wouldn't be able to extend, I suppose, maybe. I don't really know. It seems the limits of the Dark Engine can be creatively made to look like they're bigger than they are, perhaps. Even the original missions did that, but with Bone Horde and all sorts of stuff. Uh, oh, wow. It is like Skyboxville, but, but yeah, it's like a wall. I can't jump off. 
Sillily enough, if I were to wish to jump off a cliff all FF6 style, well, I couldn't. Oh boy, really? Really? What's with all these paths here? It's getting to be like a Christine mission here, and that's just panic-worthy. Like, seriously. I mean, okay, I've got a loot goal, so yeah, let's go get some loot then. It's all just kind of hidden in the walls, stuck in the walls, stuffed in passages, stuffing your pockets with fernicious francs. It's fernicious is not a word. But it is now! Wow. Wow indeed, my man Garrett. Wow indeed. I don't know what the hell that's for. Guess if I want to get back onto the surface. Harnel War would ever want such a thing. That's madness. However, this then begs the question if this is actually a dead end and all these places might actually just circle around and uh, not, not actually go anywhere but just be sort of like a loot circle, if you will. That's a pretty hippie-ish concept, right? A loot circle? Yeah, I guess it is. Well, alrighty then. Other way. Right. So, I see there are some strangely-faced guards out here guarding the place as well. Well, that's that's pretty great, but... Oh, they're, they're undead. <laughs> Can't do crap about them. Although their eyes do kind of look like, uh, happy-ish eyes. Or like, uh, Edsel tail lights. That's a pretty great thing to be called, right? Okay, Edford T. Edsel, I'm gonna just ignore you. You are not worth it whatsoever. That's why your wives keep divorcing you. It's, 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 it's just why. I mean, can you divorce someone or does it always have to be, like, mutual even if grudging? I don't friggin' know. Probably not because Got that it. would be pretty stupid. Got what? Garrett, you're, you're dumb. You haven't got anything. Unless this is the alchemist, which it probably is. This guy needs to lose some weight. Is that a Garrett line? It sounded a bit un-Garrett like. Oh well. This guy is regularly weighted. You know what he should have put in there? He should have put in that that line from Zaya. He looks a little too big to pick up. And it would have been totally incongruous and funny. Incongruous, if you like, maybe. But definitely funny still. Uh, yeah, so I can carry that guy, like, friggin' somewhere, I don't remember. Let's see. To the People's Fortress. So I, okay, I have to carry him forward instead of backward. Like, backward is a word. It's not one of my funny made-up things. Well, I think having nabbed the Alchemist is a good place to stop. So next time, I'll just carry him as fast as my tiny little arms possibly can. Garrett is a total cuteman. See you guys later.